NASA knows a secret about you. The U.S. government has a secret about you. The elite have a secret about you. There's a reason that black cells are literally in out of space. Your royal DNA cellular bloodline is filled with the God particle, but it lies dormant within you. Beloved, my name is Vicky Dillard. I receive supernatural insight concerning your messenger DNA code from a supernatural messenger. If you're not supernatural, this isn't for you, but if it's for you, you don't want to miss my ancestral messenger DNA code activation part two on the most magical day of the year. Don't miss it. The link is below. Signs and wonders follow. Don't miss it. 12, 12, 21 is your day to ascend into your guard particle. Hello, my beautiful people. How you doing? My name is Olivia Nantongo. I'm a wellness and nutrition therapist. And today I want to talk to you about diabetes, okay? Now, diabetes refers to a group of diseases that affect how your body uses blood sugar, the glucose. <laughs> glucose is vital to your health because it's an important source of energy for the cells that make up your muscles and tissues. It's also your brain's main uh, source of fuel, okay? Now, the underlying causes of diabetes varies by type. No matter what type of diabetes you have, it can lead to excess sugar in your blood. And too much sugar in your blood can actually lead to serious health problems. So this can really be a serious condition, okay? Now the uh, chronic, um, the chronic diet, <clears throat> excuse me, the chronic diabetes conditions uh, include type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes. Potentially, reversible diabetes conditions include prediabetes and gestational diabetes. In prediabetes, uh, this occurs rather prediabetes occurs when your blood sugar levels are higher than normal but not high enough to be classified as diabetes it sounds strange i know and um, the symptoms are increased thirst okay frequent urination now you might argue if i'm thirsty often i'm gonna drink and therefore i'm gonna urinate more well, there's a huge difference here. Uh, extreme hunger, unexplained weight loss, presence of ketones in the urine. Ketones are a byproduct of the breakdown of muscle and fat that happens when there is not enough available insulin. Okay, that's what ketones are. Uh, fatigue, irritability, affected vision, slow healing sores, uh, frequent uh, infections such as gums or skin infections and also vaginal infections. So all these are signs to look out for. Now, type 1 diabetes can develop at any age, though it often uh, appears during childhood or adolescence. Type 2 diabetes, the more common type, can develop at any age, though it's more common in people older than 40. So the older you get, please, please, please pay attention, okay? Now, the causes of uh, diabetes. To understand diabetes, first you must understand how glucose is normally processed in your body. It will make it so much easier, okay? Now, we all know about insulin. Insulin is a hormone that comes from a gland situated behind, uh, behind and below the stomach, the pancreas, okay? If you remember your bio biology lessons, the pancreas secretes insulin into the bloodstream. In return, the insulin circulates, enabling sugar to enter your cells. Insulin therefore lowers the amount of sugar in your bloodstream. As your sugar level drops, so does the secretion of insulin from your pancreas. Okay? So now that's insulin, right? Now let's talk about the role of glucose. The role of glucose, okay? So glucose, as you know, is a sugar. And sugar is a source of energy for the cells that make up muscles and other tissues. Glucose comes from two major sources. 
the food we consume and from the liver yes from your liver sugar is absorbed into the bloodstream where uh, it enters the cells with the help of insulin now your liver stores and makes glucose isn't that amazing when your glucose levels are low such as when you haven't eaten in a while the liver breaks down toward uh, glycogen into glucose to keep your glucose levels within a normal range isn't that amazing it's like this machine our vessel is so amazing and all this is happening without our our you know uh, knowledge more or less now the causes of type 1 diabetes the exact cause of type 1 diabetes is unknown what is known is that your immune system which normally fights harmful bacteria and viruses attacks and destroy your insulin production um, and these are the cells of course okay these are the cells in the pancreas so it destroys your insulin producing cells in the pancreas rather this leaves you with little or no insulin instead of being transported into your cells sugar now builds up in your bloodstream okay uh, and of course uh, the causes of uh, prediabetes and type 2 diabetes in prediabetes which can lead to type 2 diabetes and in type 2 diabetes okay your cells become resistant to the action of insulin and your pancreas is unable to make enough insulin to overcome this resistance instead of moving into your cells where it's needed for energy for example sugar builds up in your bloodstream okay now you are more likely to develop type 2 diabetes if you are not physically active uh, if you are overweight or obese extra weight sometimes causes insulin resistant resistance and is common in people with type 2 diabetes okay and of course the location of fat also makes a difference this is why it's so important not to accumulate you know fat layers on your stomach especially and your organs uh, now gestational diabetes this happens during the pregnancy excuse me uh, the placenta produces hormones to sustain your pregnancy these hormones make your cells more resistant to insulin normally your pancreas responds by producing enough extra insulin to overcome this resistance okay but sometimes your pancreas can keep up it can't keep up and when this happens too little glucose uh, gets into your cells and too much stays in your blood resulting in gestational uh, diabetes and of course this happens during pregnancy it can be very harmful to the mother and it can be very harmful to the baby as well okay risk factors to look out for family history know your family history when it comes to diseases and health uh, your risk increases if a parent or sibling has type 1 diabetes and the risk factors for pre-diabetes and type 2 diabetes of course weight weight the more fatty tissue you have the more resistant uh, your cells become to insulin so inactivity the less active you are the greater your risk uh, physical activity helps you control your weight now it doesn't just help you control your weight it uses up the glucose as energy and makes your cells more sensitive to insulin that's what we want right so guys this is quite a dangerous disease it can get very serious and of course another thing you need to watch out for is race and ethnicity although it's unclear why certain people including black hispanic uh, american indian and asian american people okay are at a higher risk when i was reading this i was like isn't that everyone <laughs> It sounds like it right and of course age your risk increases as you get older this may be because you tend to exercise less laziness uh, you know you lose muscle mass and of course gain weight as you age but 
type 2 diabetes is also increasing among children yes it's increasing among children uh, adolescents and of course young adults um, and of course if you suffer from high blood pressure increased uh, risk of type 2 diabetes is a watch out for now diabetes comes with a lot of complication you have long-term complication of diabetes that develop gradually they kind of sneak up on you okay some people suffer from diabetes without even knowing it until the last stages of it so the longer you have diabetes and the less controlled your blood sugar uh, is the higher the risk of complication complications and eventually diabetes complications may be disabling or even life-threatening so possible complications include uh, cardiovascular diseases diabetes dramatically increases the risk of various cardiovascular problems including coronary artery disease you know with the chest pain okay heart attack uh, stroke and of course narrowing of the arteries yeah it's a nasty disease uh, nerve damaging excess sugar can injure the walls of the tiny blood vessels the capillaries that nourishes your nerves especially in your legs and for men it may lead to erectile dysfunction now i had a segment on erectile dysfunction if you haven't watched it you need to go watch it okay uh and of course kidney damages the kidneys contain uh millions of tiny blood vessel clusters uh, those are meant to filter waste from your blood diabetes can damage this delicate filtering system okay and once it's damaged uh, it can lead to a uh, kidney failure and of course irreversible uh, end-stage kidney disease which may require dialysis or a kidney transplant now those don't come along you can go shopping for kidney well <laughs> eye damage such as glaucoma foot damage okay these are nerve damages in the feet due to uh, poor blood flow and of course can lead to amputation of your feet uh, your legs you can even the fingers yeah uh, skin conditions including bacterial and fungal infections another thing to look out to especially if you are extremely obese yes uh, hearing impi impairment hearing impairment can you imagine diabetes can affect hearing impairment too now let's talk about the preventions type 1 diabetes can't be prevented however eat healthy foods choose foods lower in fat and calories and higher in fiber focus on fruits vegetables and whole grains and strive for a variety to prevent boredom have weekly schedules i mean menus and um, monthly and be creative in the kitchen get more physical activity lose those extra pounds lose the excess pounds and of course medication is an option uh, there are a lot of natural varieties you can use. Do your research. Know what is good for you. Know what is good for you. Um, because you want to live long in a healthy vessel. You want to enjoy your elderly days. You don't want to spend the rest of your, uh, I would say, your older life, you know, or when you go into your pension. You don't want to spend the rest of your life uh, in a vegetative state because you're so sick you can move and all that stuff so stay healthy if you start on time it's a learning uh, habit make it a habit you know and understand that once you have a bad lifestyle you can't change everything at once but one step at a time you'll get there okay now remember drink your water detox on a regular level and of course always always it healthy it's very important thank you once again for watching my name is Olivia Nantongo until next time stay healthy remember health is wealth <laughs> take care
colonization never ended in the white supremacist system. And as we see today, the colonization is in the mind. Now those who have been enslaved and those who have been colonized, we're still dealing with the remnants of that through the colonization of the mind. Pick up my book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind, and we will help deprogram you from the colonization that was put upon you by generations and generations of white supremacy. You can pick it up today on amazon.com.